features of the Nigerian Broadcasting Code, the Electoral Act, and other extant laws governing the coverage and reportage of the 2023 general election. We invite you here today to reiterate our position and reaffirm our call to broadcast stations to be professional in the discharge of their duties. In the course of our monitoring, the Commission also observed with dismay that some broadcast stations allowed their platforms to be used by some guest callers and analysts to score unhealthy political points, which are inimical to our corporate existence as a nation. Electives and counter blasts were thrown freely by guests on the platform of broadcast stations at the detriment of the Nigerian people. Subversive discourse and reckless comments capable of tearing us apart as a nation and as a people who are also broadcast freely without proper gatekeeping. Ethic and professionality were thrown overboard and I think that should be uh, corrected. The Commission wishes to remind you that we have one country and if we pave way for anarchy, we will all be affected. We are only in business because we have peace in the country. Our diversity should be our strengths, our assets, and also our power. We must guard this jealously. History shows that all civil wars ever fought by people of the same race started from the media. When those who should dish out information become biased and pitch camp with different groups, divisions is heightened. Broadcast stations have a duty here to protect our unity and also punctuate our diversity as a distinctive mark of pride and promote sustainable democracy in Nigeria. We expect broadcast stations to exercise freedom of expression as agents of society, not for any personal or promote sectional rights, <coughs> privileges, and further their own or that of their appropriators, relatives or supporters, as highlighted in section 3.13 of the Nigerian Broadcasting Code. For the avoidance of doubt, the National Broadcasting Commission, which was established by NBC Act Cap N11, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004 to, among others, responsibilities license, monitor, regulate broadcasting industry in Nigeria and will not operate outside the laws or the Act. The Commission will continue to carry out its mandate without fear or paper. At this juncture, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I wish to inform you that the Commission prior and during the national uh, election period, sanctioned a total of 25 broadcast stations, while 16 others were given final warnings for the contribution of provisions of the Nigerian Broadcasting Code. Summary of the report is as follows. 17 stations received sanctions for broadcast of partisan content during the 24 hours prior to election. We all know that all campaign has to stop 24 hours before election. And some breached this instruction and then they were fined. One sanction for announcing result before authorized journal officer made them public, which is against NBC code and is also against electoral act. It's a very, very serious offense. Three stations were sanctioned for inciting comments and four sanctions, four stations were sanctioned for divisive and ethnic and also religious content in their programs. 16 broadcast stations were given final warnings for various infringements. The Commission wishes to again re-emphasize that even as we go into the gubernatorial and houses of assembly elections in the country in the next three days or few days to come, all broadcast stations must adhere strictly to the provisions of Nigerian Broadcasting Code and the National Broadcasting Act Cap L11 Laws of the Federation 2004. For the avoidance of doubt, the code in the listed sanctions sections admonished broadcasters in the following sections. 
5.3.3 ensure that the broadcaster it ensure that the broadcast of your partisan political campaign, jingle, announcement, and any other form of partisan party identification or symbol must end not later than 24 hours before following unit. That is election is coming up on Saturday. On Friday, there will be any campaign or nothing to show that uh, election, I mean, uh, somebody uh, selling or telling people about your political party. By Friday, all campaign or advertisement or jingles that have something to do with politics must stop. 5.3.3 says also, sorry, 5.33 says, ensure that broadcast of partisan political campaign jingle announcements must stop. And then 5.33, not use any vote obtained at a polling station or from an exit poll to project or speculate on the chances of a candidate. And very, very importantly, that has to be considered because we don't accept people coming up with their own analysis that, okay, we think social person or person is going to win or B is going to lose the election. You don't have to do that. You have to wait for the final election to be tallied and announced by the appropriate authority before you go on air announcing who wins the election. 5.33 says, relay election results or declaration of the winner only as announced by the authorized electoral officer. Last time we called somebody, one of the sessions announced a result before it was announced by the authorized electoral officer. And this time I is not going to be accepted because that time the session was only given a warning. But if it happens again, it's going to be sanctioned seriously. Finally, I wish to stress that broadcasters should be responsible for the content of the station's uh, broadcast. And I thank you very much for coming uh, and accepting for listening.